if you don't have something and you are sure that you don't have it, that's better. But you have it, but you are not sure of it, that's doubt and it's deadly. It's very difficult. And today I want to speak about a very important concept called assurance of salvation. Salvation means that you have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the love of Jesus Christ, by having faith in Jesus Christ. Has it happened or not? Do I have a place in heaven if Jesus comes today? That question always uh, is a big question in a lot of Christians. If you're going through that, let me tell you there are four kinds of people in this world as far as salvation is concerned. Position one is like this. People know, some people know that they are not saved and and they are not saved. In, in a way, their position is good. Well, their status is bad, but the position is good because they are know for sure that they are not saved. But there is a second category that they are saved people, but they are not sure. They always live in a kind of doubt. And if you have that kind of doubt, what happens is this. They have experienced grace, but they are not sure of it. They live in a kind of a pseudo guilt every time they doubt. And they want to do certain things to make themselves assured of this position. That's very bad. And there is a third category. I think that's the best in this world. They are saved people and they know that they are saved. If you are belonging to that category, praise the Lord. But there is a fourth category. These people, they are not saved, but they think that they are saved people. That's really horrible because they have false assurance. If you are into in that category, probably you have to rethink. So Bible clearly says that we must be sure of our calling. Second Peter, we find this verse, be sure of your calling. Therefore, we need to find out ways and means to know whether we are sure of our salvation or not. That's what we are going to discuss today. Well, if there are two people who are born again and just look at it, one person was very much emotional and he prayed and wept and all those things and the other person is not that much emotional, generally or naturally the second person will have a kind of doubt. Has it really happened? That fellow wept a lot. I did not do that. Now that's depending too much upon feelings. Well, feelings do have a place in our life. But our assurance should not be based on feelings, but should be based on facts. I want to bring to you three reasons or three ways to know whether you are really saved or not, really having a relation with God or not. Are you really the child of God or not? The first one is God's word. We know that we are saved people because the word of God says. The word of God says, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. The condition is believing in Jesus Christ and the result is having eternal life. John 6, 47. John 5, 24 says that if you believe in my words and you have, if you trust in the one who has sent me, you have crossed over from death into eternity. Now that's clearly the word of God. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 12, it says, if you confess your sin, I am faithful and just. I will forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. This is the word of God and God will never tell a lie. And here is a clear cut. Uh, truth. So if you are fulfilling the condition, you definitely have the result. The second one is the Spirit of God. When we accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior, actually the Spirit of God comes and indwells us. And when the Spirit of God is in us, according to Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 16, when we pray, He gives us the confidence, the ability to look at the Father and call Him Abba. And that's amazing. And not only that, subjective, right inside, he gives us a feeling that you are the child of God. And this happens because the Spirit of God is in us. This is the second one. And the third one is godly walk. Just imagine before you're born again, you are doing certain things without any bias, without any guilty feeling. But when you're born again, if you have a kind of inclination to do the same thing, there will be a fight that goes on within. The conscience pricks you. And this happens because the Spirit of God is inside you and He's telling you, you should not do it. And this is a clear cut indication that you are born again and you are the child of God. This is what exactly Jesus said in Matthew Chapter 3, verse 8, you must, repro you must produce the fruit of repentance. When you are repenting and you want to do it again, you must have that guilty feeling. You must have that fight within. And that's how we can be sure 
of your salvation. So my friends, if you are not sure of your salvation, look at these three points. If you still have any question or doubt, please talk or chat with our life mentors.